Hey guys, this is Troy from TroyPoint.com and in this video I will show you how to block Amazon Fire TV updates on your router and then apply the Fire TV exploit hack that I showed a few weeks ago. Unfortunately, Amazon is releasing an update to patch the exploit and the question we're seeing is can I apply this exploit hack to a new Fire TV device? Yes, you can, but the key is to ensure that the new Fire TV doesn't get updated prior to administering the exploit hack. So to test this, I went out today and bought a new third generation Fire TV Cube, which should eventually receive the patch that Amazon is rolling out. Now it's important to note that this exploit won't work on new Fire TVs that Amazon releases in the future, but it should work for devices already on the shelves. Now before plugging in my new Fire TV Cube, it's important that I block the Amazon update URLs in my router so it doesn't update automatically before I employ the hack. Now you're going to see here I've opened up the administration panel on my Asus router. For me, all I need to do is go to asusrouter.com in a browser. Now, if you're not using an Asus router, you will want to look at the documentation for your specific model and determine how to get into the admin panel so you can do this. So you can see here, I am logged into my admin panel. I'm going to move down and what I'm looking for is firewall. And then there's a tab called URL filter. Now, yours may be a little bit different, but most routers will have some sort of a firewall feature where you can block addresses within it. So you're gonna see here, I came into this section, I enabled URL filter, I chose deny list because I want to deny these addresses. And as of this video, there's three addresses you want to input into this area. All I had to do was press the plus button and I added each one of these separately. And then once I added those, I clicked the apply button. Now, before going through this tutorial, I strongly suggest looking at the pinned comment or the video notes below, because if Amazon does change these URLs or adds another URL or multiple URLs, I will leave a note for that. But as of this video, October 9th, 2025, it's these three addresses right here. And again, I will provide those in the notes below so you can easily copy and paste. And by adding these to the firewall section, it will block attempts from my Fire TV device to update, which I will show you here in a little bit. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and plug in my new third generation Fire TV Cube. Okay, now I'm gonna quickly go through the setup process. I'm connected to Wi-Fi. Okay, right when you see this, you wanna hold down on the back button and menu button at the same time until you see this here. That will stop the update process. If you don't do that, it's going to consistently keep trying to update and it won't let you go any further. And then once you see this screen, you click the back button on the remote. And now I'm going to go ahead and sign in with my Amazon account. Okay, I've signed in, it says successfully registered. I'm gonna hit continue, no. It's asking if I want to restore the Fire TV. I'm gonna skip. I'm gonna do this later. No parental controls. Choose my streaming services, no thanks. And the Fire TV cube has loaded. Now to show you that over the air updates are not working, I'm gonna hover over the gear icon, go into my Fire TV, about, check for updates, and after a minute or two, it's just gonna come right back to this where it says last checked, never. You may also get an error here or it may say unable to check. Nonetheless, we know we're still on the current version which is 7646. Now, while I'm in here, I'm gonna move up, highlight the name of my Fire TV device and I'm going to click it seven times. Back button on my remote. Go into developer options, turn on ADB debugging, and now I'm gonna go back to the home screen. And now I'm gonna go through the exploit hack very quickly. This is not meant to be a tutorial because I will link to my original video in the notes below. Please use that 
as a reference for administering the exploit hack. So I'm going to go through this rather quickly. I'm going to type in downloader. You want the one by AFTV News. If there are any others, you want to make sure you get the one by AFTV News. Okay, it's been installed. I'm going to go back to the home screen, gear icon, my Fire TV, developer options, install unknown apps. We want to turn on unknown apps for downloader. Back to the home screen. I'm going to launch downloader, allow, OK, up button on my remote, OK to open the keyboard, and I'm going to type in 250931. That will open the free Troy Point toolbox. Now, since this is the first time I've landed on this page within downloader, I do want to mark this as a favorite. I'm going to hold down on the OK button of my remote for a few seconds, add current page to favorites, save. Now in the future, we can quickly come in here. There's all kinds of apps that we can install that aren't available within the Amazon App Store. Plus, we don't have to wait for the five-second load screen. Okay, there's three apps I'm going to install on this page. I'm going to press the down arrow on my remote. First, I want Project Ivy Launcher. That's going to replace the default user interface on my Fire TV Cube. That has been installed. I'm going to hit Done. Delete the installation file. And now I'm going to download Launcher Manager for Fire TV. Done. Delete that as well. Now I'm going to get the Fire TV toolbox here in a little bit on my Android tablet. And then on my Fire TV, I also want LM settings. Done and delete that as well. Okay, I'm done installing everything through the downloader app on my Fire TV Cube home button. Now I'm going to move over to my Android tablet. And I have already installed the downloader app through Google Play Store on this device. Now, again, if you don't have an Android tablet, you can do this with a computer, whether it be Windows, Mac, or Linux. And I show how to do that in my original video. Again, link for that is located in the video notes below. So I'm going to launch downloader here on my tablet. And just like the Fire TV device, 250931. I'll scroll down, Fire TV Toolbox. And what this is going to do, it's going to send an ADB command over to my Fire TV Cube, which will set up this exploit hack. So I'm going to hit Download, Install. I'm going to decline. I don't want to turn on Play Protect. That will prevent the app from installing. I'm going to go ahead and open Fire TV Toolbox. Okay, I need to determine what the IP address is on my Fire TV device. So I'm going to hover over the gear icon, go into my Fire TV, about, hover over network, and you're going to see my IP address is 192.168.1.193. And that's what I'm going to type into the box here on my Android tablet. And at the bottom here, I'm going to type in 192.168.1.193. Hit connect. And now you're going to see on my Fire TV screen, I get this prompt here. I'm going to choose Always Allow from this computer and then OK. And now all I need to do is hit the Go button behind Setup Launcher Manager. And you're going to see on my screen, Launcher Manager automatically opens. First thing I want to do is move all the way down here and hit Setup LM Settings. If you remember, we installed the LM Settings application earlier. And now I'm going to 
go ahead and disable over the air updates. It now says system updates are blocked. Blacklisting, we're going to get rid of that so we can sideload any app that we want to without Amazon interfering and blocking it. And then app protection, we're going to disable that as well. You're going to see some other settings in this area here. Next, I'm going to enable the Project Ivy Launcher that I installed earlier through the Troy Point Toolbox. So I want to choose Custom Launcher. Project Ivy. And where it says here, Custom Launcher Support, we want to enable that. Okay, everything is set the way we need it. Home button on my remote. Go through the setup screen for Project Ivy. And again, link for my original tutorial for all of this is located in the notes below. Allow. Grant notification access and special permissions, yes. Now some of these Amazon does block so we can't do it. I'm going to say no for sending anonymous usage reports and then get started. And now we have replaced the cumbersome user interface on the Fire TV with this here. I'm going to go up to the gear icon, go into Project Ivy Launcher Settings, Accessibility Service. We want to turn off this reminder. Make sure Android settings is working. Goes right into our Fire TV settings, which it should. Home button on my remote. And we're back to our new home screen. If I go into LM settings, we have shortcuts to all of the common settings in this area here. So that is how you can block over the air updates on your Amazon Fire TV through your router. And this does enable you to take a new Fire TV device that's currently on the shelves and employ the exploit hack that I showed a couple weeks ago. And again, link for that original video is located below. Guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Please be sure to hit the thumbs up button. Also subscribe to my channel for many more tutorials like this in the future. And if you haven't already got it, be sure to get my free secret app store guide that will show you how to install all of the best secret app stores on your Fire TV device. This is the reason Fire TV systems are so popular. It's due to these third-party app stores. If you want this guide, simply click the link in the video notes below or scan this QR code and it will be delivered to your inbox immediately. Have an awesome day and thanks for following TroyPoint.